Chapter 3 Introducing Sprinting into a Fitness Program If you already have a fitness program in place, adding Sprint will provide a number of benefits for you. It will help you build up your lean muscle mass, lose more body fat by boosting metabolism, and improve your endurance. In this part of the course, we're going to show you how you can add sprinting into your, into your existing fitness program. Where to sprint? It's important to find a good place to sprint because unlike jogging, you're not going to have a lot of time to think about getting around obstacles should one suddenly appear in your path. Make sure wherever you sprint, it has a good footing and you won't be worrying about distractions or interruptions. Because of the intensity of sprinting, a sudden stop or turn can cause injury. Some people recommend sprinting uphill, but if you're just starting off, you will probably do better on a flat surface and can then find a slope surface to increase the intensity later. It's also not recommended to use a treadmill because of how hard it is to control the speed when you're going that fast and the faster you go on a treadmill, the greater the risk of injury. How often to sprint? Because of how hard the sprinting is on your body, you shouldn't do it more often than two or three times a week. If you are young, healthy and physically fit, you can try it for three days, but if your body takes a while to recover for various reasons, you should only sprint two days a week to keep from overexerting yourself. To improve your sprinting, you should also include other muscle building exercises into the rest of the week. Warm up. Every workout session should begin with a warm up, and it's even more important when you're adding sprints to the mix. Sprinting uses your muscles at almost full capacity, and if you don't take the time to warm up first, then you're greatly increasing your risk of tearing and straining something. Depending on the type of exercises you normally do, you may have to add some extra warm-ups before sprinting. Some good warm-up exercises to include before a sprinting exercise include jumping jacks, knee highs, side shuffles and butt kicks. There are many others you can use, but this will give you an idea of the high energy types of warm-ups that will prepare your body and muscles to sprint without injury. Make sure to warm up for 5 to 10 minutes before beginning. Cool down. After you sprint, it is equally important that you cool down, which means stretching out the muscles that you used and allowing the muscles to relax slowly. You'll also want to make sure you're giving your body some time to recover during the workout, so you're not just doing hard the entire time. The point of sprinting is to push your body, but you don't want to push too hard too fast. As you continue throughout our sprinting training course, you'll find even more detailed information on sprinting training routines, so keep reading.